charges if it's given in open lodge. We actually, where need is, we seize hold, take hold, and try to make a contribution. The phrase is, depart into the multitude and serve the citizens of Ontario well. Since 1964, the Masonic Foundation of Ontario has provided an ethical, responsible, and effective way for Masons to serve communities in this province on a large and local scale. Here are just a few examples of MFO charity in practice and its impact on Ontario communities. With MFO bursaries, thousands of Ontario college and university students have been able to afford to finish their studies. There couldn't be a better way to uh, see the work that's being done by the Masons of Ontario than to actually hand out the, uh, the check to the individual and uh, see uh, how much it's appreciated and also recognize through their words what it means to them and to the community. This money that was presented to me, thank you very much, it's going to be you know, used for my year-end show. Be able to pursue the projects that I've, you know, planned to do. So. I could see myself teaching a public school in the near future. I am truly, truly grateful. Large-scale fundraising and initiatives by the MFO have produced spectacular and tangible results. But I was just absolutely awestruck by the fact that you've given over 1.3 million dollars to the auditory lab and we are now the international leader in hearing research and through some of your local chapters you have supported some of the key projects around the hospital for many many years so it wouldn't be too much of a stretch to say thousands of children in Ontario have benefited from what you've done. We are pleased to be participating now in the seventh year of a 10-year commitment at $35,000 per year I am singularly humbled by the enormity and the significance of the research work undertaken by Dr. Harrison and his theme. Relating back to the Masonic Foundation of Ontario, they were the first people to provide um, funding for the, both the research and, and this is not well known, they paid for the first devices that we used, um, the first cochlear implant devices. So. Um, the, uh, the Masons really helped to seed um, uh, our cochlear implant program here. Part of the Masons' second campaign was all to do with screening of children for hearing loss. And um, you may know that in Ontario now, we have a, a universal hearing screening program where every baby in, born in this province has a hearing test. That program was in fact seeded by the Masonic Foundation of Ontario, in, in, in part. So and really not then every child in Ontario has something to thank Masonic Foundation. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Carrie's Place provides people with autism, like Bernadette, support to enjoy a full life. If we didn't have a place like Carrie's Place, she'd probably still be in an institution somewhere. Perhaps going into a vegetation stew, period. Show to be in a miracle, it's, it's, it's something that you can't put words to. As the MFO approaches its 50th anniversary, it's taking on a new generation of worthy projects. Like the Da Vinci Surgical Robotic System, which enables state-of-the-art, minimally invasive surgery, highlighting the importance of prostate cancer awareness and early detection for the health of every man in Ontario, including every Mason. And every Mason can make a personal financial contribution to the MFO online, through yellow and grey envelopes, monthly giving at work, gifts and estate planning. Freemasons are in the business of planting seeds and scattering some of those seeds around us in the community where we say we serve. And I'm very, very proud to say that a Mason, maybe some of our seeds have had more some fruit. I would commend uh, all of our, my fellow Masons to support the Foundation in its work. Make it uh, the charity of choice for the cause of good. <laughs>